Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Messi Ibema C. If this is the first time you're coming across my channel, I urge you to subscribe to my channel and to my old viewers, thank you so much for watching my video. Now, today's video is really a very, very special one because I have a special guest in the house. I'm going to be sitting down with my husband and we're going to be answering some questions about parenthood. So guys, join me and make welcome my sweet husband, Peter Ibemesi. Yay! All right, would you like to say something? Hello, everyone. Um, thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. And I must thank you um, for inspiring my wife to do a lot of videos. Um, it's not been easy, really. I mean, trying to come over here in the studio. She's been trying to drag me down. But here am I today. So I hope you're going to enjoy whatever we're going to talk about today. So sit and relax. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. So actually, we're going to be discussing about some questions um, I saw online. I saw some questions online and I'm like, ah, we went through some of these things. So let me just write it down and then ask, I'm going to be asking the questions out and whoever, we're going to be answering it together. Okay. Yeah. Right. That, that'll be fun. I'm going to be reading out the first question and right. it says what does it, what does being a parent mean to you before and has it changed since becoming a parent yourself that's the first question now let me take it first since right, you go first yeah let me, <laughs> let me take it i know you're a bit nervous right. right now so actually before i became a parent i did not know it was difficult you know i thought it's something once you just have a baby, you know how to flow with it. And But now that I've become a parent myself, I think I've learned that parenting is difficult, man. It's not easy at all. Oh, well, I'm saying to you what you just said, but just that a bit, mm -hmm. a little um, observation in my own part. Before I became a parent, I thought being a parent is just like being more instructive okay. and um, giving, um, what's it called again, taking all responsibilities. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I thought parents is. Okay. But now I'm a parent and it's beyond taking out responsibilities. You have to say it, be involved in the responsibility. Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah, that's what I've said differently from my observation, from uh, my opinion before. Yeah. Now that I'm a parent. I think, yeah, now you've, you've taught me something. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely true. Really. Yeah. The second um, question says, have you always wanted children like uh, I, I'll go first in this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've always loved children, really. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I don't know how but how it started. But I have this penchant for children. Yeah, I could also tell in my um uh, if you ask my sister, yeah, she always tell you the first time she put to bed, I had to rush all the way to her home, mm. stay with the children, to the baby first. The second one I was there when she was um that's you are much. fully doing your muga for your sister. Oh, uh, not really your muga. Not really the child <laughs> visit because my mom always come around. But just that the love seeing my the yeah, seeing the children. children. I love seeing them yeah. at the tender age as well. Okay. Yeah. So then the the third one was also involved. Okay. I also have got my cousins as well. Yeah, they are twins. So I had to leave school okay. sometimes to go to my aunt's house to, to babysit them and all those so it's really been a nice thing for me i love children really okay. <laughs> so me yeah me too i've loved children i've loved it but not like me going to do a mogul and all that but if situation calls that i be of help i be of help i've always wanted to have children and i'm glad i have a child right now mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice yeah so the third question says has becoming a parent interfered in any way with your relationship with your spouse? <laughs> you wanna go first? You go first, bro. <laughs> it's quite tough, really, to have a child in your life, someone you're parenting. I must say the truth. Oh, there are some yeah. challenges attached to it. So yeah, for instance, I've got my time to myself and my wife before my our baby came in. But the time she came in, I mean, you have to pray for her to go to bed. So you can have your time with your wife. Sometimes she determines what you do. I mean, it's the kind of music you listen. So imagine in my head, sometimes when I go off to work, in my head, what will be playing in my head is just the children's music because that's what keeps playing in my house all the time. So it's totally a different life from when my baby was not here. 
but now our baby is here i mean we're trying to adjust so it's not the same really yeah. but it's not scary really because the joy of trying to have them around and the expectation of having them around will also make you to bear all these things yeah i would say the same actually it has interfered in our relationship a bit not really now now we've we've learned how to flow with it but back then when i had olivia early when her need was a bit higher she was 100 percent independent she couldn't work dependent sorry thank you <laughs> thank you she couldn't do anything and then my uh, my baby blues happened and it was just so tough then so it really interfered in our relationship a bit but we learned how to flow with it and now we are better, right? Yeah, like I said before, adjustment is the key. Yeah. Make sure it doesn't affect your love life, you know, your feelings for your spouse, your partner. But I mean, your time most definitely is going to be affected. Mm -hmm. But understand the dynamics, yeah. understand the flow, try to adjust on time before you know it becomes part of your life. Okay. We go to the next question, yeah. It says, has your routine changed? <laughs> that has your routine changed if yes what's changed so has your routine changed i'm not going first this time around so you go first <laughs> certainly yes 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 so what changed? my routine has changed in the sense that before it would be wake up do what i want to do like if i wanted to do a youtube video i don't need to wait for anybody to sleep and all that but now she comes by so it is when she's asleep you have the time to do anything for yourself and for my husband if she's awake she comes oh by so gosh. absolutely my our routine yeah our routine has changed yeah, right yeah. now really. yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, because i remember sometimes um uh, in the past before olivia came yeah okay yeah we go to bed on time yeah yeah but now olivia doesn't go to bed on time then we wake up at her own time. Yeah. But now, My you gosh. have to get up once she's up. So, you don't have any other excuse not to get up. Otherwise, she's going to... I mean, you're scared. You don't want her to, yeah. to get up and mess herself up. Mm -hmm. Or do a mess around in the house. Mm -hmm. Because if that happens, you're going to end up cleaning them around. So, yeah. once she's up, immediately, just give yourself two minutes from the time she gets up. You're certainly going to get up. Mm -hmm. So, the routine, everything is changed. And also, the work routine as well. So, we have to fit our work timing and shift yeah in a way that to fit her to fit right in, yeah, now yeah, her yeah. School, oh, getting her back from school yeah taking her to school yeah. being available for her as well because you have to strike life balance really you don't have to do work 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 yes you have yes. to strike the life you, you know? have to like bala balance she's everything. in the middle yeah, she's right the now, everything so everything circles around <laughs> we call it uh, uh self-centered support or oh, something okay. yeah so yeah, everything yeah. is also supporting her so it's centered around, <laughs> around her, yeah. so the time of work shifted Changed meal, even yeah, our food. We didn't talk about food our food. Has actually, Everything ah, has actually changed. So it's not changed. before you just wake up, go to get all you want to get, put in the microwave, get them out. But now you, but have, now you to have to actually think about what are we going to eat because she's actually involved in what we Of course, yeah. So you have to involve her in everything the meal, in the ro daily routines mm -hmm. yourself. So everything, everything, certainly everything, everything changed. Has changed. <laughs> it's not scary, but it's fun. I mean, you want people to see your baby, oh, she's a nice baby. You take solace, like, oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but they won't know what you're going through. But yeah. when, you are, when you get used to it, it's very easy. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So the next question says, do you believe in punishment, punishment. for children? And if yes, what type of punishment? So do you believe in punishment, in punishing children? Uh, it depends on the view or definition of punishment. So what... I will ask the question back now. What is punishment? Bro, please, this thing is not classroom. No, no, I believe as an as, as a Nigerian, as somebody that grew up from Nigeria. Right, because do you what punishment means in Africa is different punishment. from what punishment means in, in the Western world. So please we are we <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> do you believe in punishing our child when she does something wrong? Let's let's do it like that now. Um oh well, certainly if punishment is gonna is a form of correction. Yeah, yeah, yeah please, then fine. Correction. So, if punishment is a form of correction, then that's fine. I believe in punishment. Okay, so to correct, if it's only to correct or to imbibe a good character in Olivia, I believe in that. But if punishment is, um, act of, I mean, just depriving, just to show that you're just a parent, 
And actually, out of um, a sound heart, some people might just want to show that I'm your parent, so you have to listen to me. Yeah, I know there's also some conditions around that that mm -hmm. could determine or to decide you to express that kind of feeling that I'm your parent, so you have to do what I ask you to do. Okay. Yeah, but it shouldn't really be in that completely. Mostly, it should be just for correction's sake. Okay. So if punishment is to correct my baby, yes, of course, I would gladly do that. Okay. But it should not involve um, a physical abuse. Okay. And also, I think um, most important one is that there should be a limit. To the... Yeah, to what punishment you're giving to your baby, Absolutely. depending on the, yeah on how old, on the age and um, understanding. Yeah. So you can't get a punishment that's meant for a twelve old. 12 year old yeah and uh, yeah to give it to a four, four month old baby yeah absolutely. it doesn't make sense yeah, they're not gonna um, they're not gonna grasp all, all you're trying to pass across to them they're gonna see that you're trying to weaken me and mm -hmm. before you know it they're gonna grow hard and once their heart grows hardened i guess whatever is gonna be, produce a counter say counter effect yeah so you're trying to correct them but you're hardening them so uh, yeah. they will grow up not being corrected okay. not being loved yeah, so that's it. So punishment is good if it serves the right of correction. I'm not trying to lecture so here really. <laughs> that's, so my husband is a lecturer. This simple question I, I ask. ask. I was talking about this career simple here. Really, question. So. Do you believe in punishment? Yeah, I believe. Please take up. All right, yeah, I believe. Yes, yeah. me. Yeah, I believe in punishment. Yeah, because I have to say, if I say I believe, you say, you ask, you're going to ask me another question. Why do you believe? So in science, you don't just end up in defining no, words. No, I asked the question. I said, do you believe in punishment? If yes, what type of punishment? That's what I asked. No, I mean, with words, we have to be careful. Okay. Yeah, my video is, will be long bro so the thing is that i believe in punishment mm -hmm. and as for the type of punishment i'm going to be giving on olivia right now i don't know yet because she's a sweet little girl so maybe when she grows up now you may be telling her to stay on top of her chair you may be telling her not to watch What's the that television other one? What's that other one um, go to the corner thinking corner yeah <laughs> <laughs> i like that one you go to your thinking corner and so think it, yeah so it could be going to that thinking corner, but right now I don't have any punishment right now because I can't think of Olivia doing anything bad until we get there, we cross the bridge, right? But you should also be void of physical abuse, really. You didn't mention that, did you say that? So my, my husband, yeah, please, I'm not saying I'll be my, I'm going to inflict injuries or punish my, I'm um, trying to harm her. What we're trying to achieve is like to change the behavior. So we'll have to, hmm. It's well. <laughs> All right. So we go to the next question. Okay. It says, has the birth of your baby affected positively or negatively your relationship with your parents? Has it affected your relationship with your parents um, since you had your since we had our baby? Has it affected? Well, I think this question centrally it goes to the wife because we are the one that actually pushed out the baby, right? Because I've, I've actually talked with some new moms or even mothers generally. And they said immediately after pushing out that baby, I said I kissing okay. my mom, hugging okay. my mom, all those disobedience I did. I said asking for forgiveness and all that. So I think maybe it's not going to affect the, uh, the, the, the fathers. So I'm free now. But... <laughs> But I think for me, it made me love, I love my mom to the moon and back. It made me love her now after the moon. Yeah, you get what I mean? But I respected her the more, I mean, having a baby is that process of labor and delivery and all that. It's not easy and I think it affected positively. I don't think there's any negative effect yeah, right some, now. Some, and also some actually some of... The things Olivia does right now, sit down here. Ah, this girl, can you stop playing right now? It also made me feel for my parents, and that's <laughs> where you guys come in, really. Because right now, you tell Olivia, I want to sleep, and she doesn't even want to sleep at the moment. And you think back of all those times you were pounding on your mother's head and your father's head. So you never did that. You never... Oh. <laughs> I can't remember doing that, so... <laughs> Maybe you have to call my mom to come and invite your mom, my mom to your studio one day and do some interview. Yeah. But the thing is that... I was talking about love, um, the same love, she has never interrupted my love or added or I can't say no, she no, has no. added because I'm not, oh, like she's, said not before, added. she's not made you love your my mom, mom the more or the less, so <laughs> I must say that, so, <laughs> sure of course, really. So. It's so good. So we go to the next question and it says, what new thing has parenting taught you and me? 
<laughs> what has he thought? Why do I have to go first? <laughs> All right. Um, I I will say one thing I like a lack in my life is patience. Mm. Though a lot of people are saying I'm patient. He is. But the only time you know I'm not patient is if you if you're working with me, or if we have an appointment. So I know I lack patience. So now parenting, having a living in my life, um, taught me to be patient in life, really. So do everything, be pedantic, be careful, go slow, go easy. Yeah, because they are babies, right? So you need, really need to give them their time yeah. to know what you're talking about. Yeah. And also, yeah, when you're working with them, you have to give them their own pace as well. So you reduce your own pace. So it's actually taught me patience really yeah me too i think we share the same thing right now it has actually taught me i i don't know if i'm patient or not i don't know nobody has ever told me you're not i don't know but olivia has actually taught me that you really have no matter how you do it you have to be patient you it's 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 a character you have to have, whether you like it or not. If you say, I am not a patient, I don't, it's a character, whether you like it or not. It's something you must have. And Olivia has brought, the, has brought it out the more in my life. And I now apply it generally in life when I go to work. Because I'm dealing with a little baby that has taught me how to be patient. When everybody's saying, I need to finish this, I need to do that, I need to do this, I have to go. I don't really have to rush and so Olivia has taught me how to be patient. Taught us how to be patient. Okay. <laughs> so we go to the next question and it says, what's your advice to new parents or parents to be out there? What's your advice? Should I go first? Uh, okay, I can go first. <laughs> <laughs> right, so go like to the new parents, it's one day at a time. Oh, yeah, day it's time. one day. I think that was what made me go into baby blues or postpartum depression, but not the severe postpartum depression. And I was trying to see if I could do everything at once, sort everything out at once. Nobody said it's going to be easy because having a full blown human being in that little form. Yeah, yeah, it's a, that baby is complete, but just in a little size, you know. Aww. Yeah, Less so, than. Less than. <laughs> it's not easy, so just take it bit by bit, gradual by gradual. We do what we have to do today, tomorrow will come with its own wahala. We'll try to sort it out tomorrow, not today, one day at a time. Yeah, to add to that as well, always make sure that your joy is greater than whatever challenge that you're seeing with the baby yeah so with that it keeps you going it helps you you go a long way when you look at them the challenge is there but you look at the joy that the baby has brought in your life okay. it makes you tackle the challenge so that's that's just what i would say yeah that's true okay so we go to the last question and it says Finally. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> and it says, what's the best piece of advice you got from people? Yeah, when we had a baby. Um, okay, um, I remember someone telling me to to start on time. Everything like starting on time. So I was like, what was starting on time? Start on time to tell them what you want them, the culture you want them to imbibe. I was like, how the heck am I going to be talking to a day old baby to tell the baby that? You should go to bed by this time. So, about the advice, just start on time. But really, you really start, have to start on time. Whatever you want them to imbibe in them, you have to start on time. So that's the best advice I got. Yeah, me too. To what he said, yeah, starting on time has really helped us. Because I remember someone telling us once it's time to sleep, switch off the light, or towards the evening, switch off the light that way. They will know once it's, once we switch up the light, it's time to sleep. So that's it, it. Actually, works for us too till now. Once we want Olivia to sleep, we switch up the light. She climbs to the bed. She may not sleep immediately, but she's not going to be running yeah, around the house. Yeah. yeah, she just climbs on top of the bed and she stays there. She rolls around and everything. Before you know it, yeah, and before you oh, know it, she sleeps she up. Knows. So if you start on time, I started on time to also teach her the no. Because when oh, I yeah. say, yeah, it worked, no, 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 I no, said, no. I told her, no, no. So right now, if she's trying to take something and I say, no, she actually stops. 
she may be there and still be wanting to, but the no, <laughs> the it. no will okay, make her so. not to touch it. So I would advise, as I would also give it as advice to parents, start on time. Whatever behavior, or character, or attitude you want to imbibe catch in that lady, yes, catch, catch them, them young. Them. Start now. It's not too late. We can bend them now because when they grow, we cannot bend them again. That's just it. <laughs> yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video all through to this point. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'll be waiting for you guys in the comment I'll section. This way. Yeah, this is the <laughs> thumbs up. Right. And I hope you guys enjoyed us together. And hopefully we'll be seeing you guys in another video. Thank Tell you them to subscribe to my channel. Um, okay, um, thank you viewers, um, thank you subscribers, and the yet to subscribe, try to subscribe. <laughs>